Rules governing defecation, hygiene and pollution exist in every culture at every period in history. It may in fact be the foundation of civilization. What is toilet training if not the first attempt to turn a child into an acceptable member of society? Australian university students come from a wide range of cultural and linguistic backgrounds, so it's only natural that in these uncertain times that universities teach their students correct toilet hygiene. Toilet training for adults, some might say. I was at a university the other day, and this was the sign that I was met with when I entered one of the toilet cubicles. Use of male toilets. I don't think it's fair that only university students should be privy to this information, so I decided to make this video to show you all the do's and don'ts of toilet hygiene, University Edition. Let's start with the don'ts. Whatever you do, don't defecate on the floor. This may be a given for some of you, but it's not hygienic to crap all over the floor. Other people have to use the toilet too. They don't really want to navigate through other people's excrement. Don't stand on the toilet. The toilet seat, as the name implies, is for sitting. Standing leaves muddy shoe prints all over the toilet seat. It's also dangerous in that there's a chance you could fall and hurt yourself, suing the university in the process. Due to recent funding cuts, the last thing the university needs is another court case. Hence the sign. Now onto the do's. Do sit on the toilet seat and keep one arm out straight, positioned near the toilet paper. This is important to prevent would-be thieves from stealing the paper, which is a real possibility due to the ongoing toilet paper shortages. Do use toilet paper and do throw it into the toilet bowl after use. It's quite possible that there won't be any toilet paper due to the previously mentioned shortage. In that case, just use your art history or anthropology assignment. Even if you graduate, you probably won't get a job anyway. Do stand up and be proud of what you've achieved. You're only at university once, so make sure to celebrate all your successes. Also, make sure to flush the toilet after use. Although you might be proud of your achievements, other people, not so much. If you're a man, do stand while urinating in the designated wall-mounted urinal. Make sure your arms are slightly forward, controlling the direction of flow. Whatever you do, don't leave your arms hanging by your sides, or even worse, put them behind your head. This just looks silly and results in a mess that somebody else has to clean up. For any of my female listeners, I must apologise. Despite repeated requests, the university refused me access to the women's toilets to take photographs. I told them it was in the public interest, but they threatened to call the police. So unfortunately, I only have information for men. Lastly, and some would say most importantly, wash your hands. There's nothing worse than shaking somebody's hand with excrement all over it. If you don't know how to wash your hands, never fear. The university and the Queensland government have you covered. Basically, you put soap on your hands and wash them with water. If you're a university student and found any of these steps problematic, perhaps university education is not for you. After seeing this sign, I started to wonder, if people are smart enough to be accepted into university, then surely they're smart enough to know not to crap on the floor or to wash their hands after defecation. Apparently, I was wrong. 